Annyeong, Yorobun. Okay, see you again. And today I would like to teach all of you about the Korean language. For the previous video, video we we I told you uh, I told you about the uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, nam cha chingu and your cha chingu, right? But today I will teach you about the uh, nam cha and your cha chingu mean boy or girlfriend only one word, right? So. Nam cha chingu and yo cha chingu, right? Uh, boyfriend. Girlfriend, right? Boyfriend, girlfriend. Okay. But <clears throat> it's separate, right? Boyfriend, girlfriend. But for, uh, for one, one, uh, for other word, we can say a in, in Korean. A in, a in mean. Boy or girl forever. It is easy, right? You can say nam cha chingu boyfriend, yo cha chingu girlfriend. <coughs> okay. And this word a in a in mean boy or girlfriend, boy or girlfriend, right? You can ask to uh, Korean people nam cha chingu is sao, yo cha chingu is sao. Do you have boyfriend or girlfriend? But it is easy for you to say a in so yo. A in. A in ni. Ah, for the people. Okay, a in. It is easy for you. It so yo. Okay. A in it so yo. A in it so yo. What does mean? Mean do you have? Do you have? Do you have boy or girlfriend? A in it say yo. Do you have boy or girlfriend? If you ask to lady or to other girl, a in it say yo mean do you have a boyfriend? If you ask to man or the boy. Uh, in soil, mean do you have a girlfriend? Something like that. Do you understand? It is easy. For the young people, they like to say, "Ain't of so, I don't have boyfriend or girlfriend." Right? It is easy. You can say that. Okay. You understand? Now, ain't of so. Ni ain't soil. Do you have a boyfriend or girlfriend? Okay. You understand? If you have any question, you can ask me by comment section. Thank you for your watching or uh, learning Korean with me. Okay, 안녕히 계세요.